Hi, Matthew Reed here. Thanks for stopping by MatthewReedCoaching.com. Recently, I read a book called The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. And in it, he talks about the, the subtitle is Why We Do What We Do in Life and in Business. And he talks about how habits form the backbone of our of what we do and how we exist in life. And it also forms the backbone of really all of society. Whole societal movements take place because of habits. So I want to talk to you just for a couple of minutes today, inspired from Duhigg's book about how to build better habits for your life. The first one is know what it is you're really looking for. As you're thinking about those habits that you wish to change, know that what you're really looking for is not what necessarily it is you think you're looking for. Um, the smoker, for instance, they're not looking for nicotine. They're looking for that feeling, that relaxation, that ah, moment when they smoke. They, they, they're not looking for a cigarette. They're looking for that feeling. So know what it is you're looking for. Is you're trying to um, extract bad old habits from your life and implement new ones. Know what it is you're looking for. Second thing you need to do is recognize what the cue is. What triggers you to want to participate in that bad habit? Um, if you find yourself um, always overeating um, when you are watching a football game, for instance, well, be aware of that. Know that the trigger is the football game. And so when you're watching a football game on TV, you need to change the behavior. The third thing is change the behavior. So know what it is you're really looking for, recognize what the cue is, and then change the behavior. That's the one component that really changes. That's the only thing that's fully within your control. The cues are going to be there, those triggers, those reminders. The thing you want, those are natural, um, even God-given desires that you have. The Middle thing, the middle piece in this, the behavior, that's what you have the power to change. So know what it is you're really looking for. Know when the cue triggers this whole cycle of habit. And when that takes place, you can implement a new behavior in there. Um, I have a brother-in-law who recently done a great job at stopping smoking. You know what he did? He replaced the, the smoking with vigorous exercise. Um, I know lots of people who have changed eating habits just by having different choices available to them. Um, but when they are have that desire for a, a food or something triggers them to overeat, man, they have something different they can do or participate in that gives them that same feeling of satisfaction. So if you want to build a better habit, know what it is you're really looking for. Secondly, recognize the cue. And then third, replace the old behavior with a new one. Thanks again for stopping by MatthewReadCoaching.com. We'll see you next time.